is going on guys Matt with MotoWorks here and in the video today just like the description said we're going to try and mud proof Rusty all right now for those of you that don't know or haven't watched the video Rusty is a 94 Jeep Cherokee XJ and in a previous video I went over kind of how bad the Jeep really is it's, it's pretty rotted out underneath Original plan with this was to make it a nice car for my wife to drive in the winter, but it's going to take a lot of work. So we're just going to take it four wheeling. That's what you do when you can't put a, a car back on the road. You just put it on a nice dirt trail and take it through mud. Now the common problem with mud is it gets all over your vehicle. And as you saw the video today, we're going to mud proof this Jeep or well hopefully it's something that i've always wanted to do but the kits were just too expensive now, there are a few different variations of this product what i have is the rust-oleum never wet and basically this stuff here when you go apply it um prevents any water mud anything from sticking to whatever you apply this stuff to now this was always really expensive i think it was probably you know 15 20 dollars for a kit not when you've got a dollar general right up the street they had this stuff that's right on sale for a dollar for the whole kit so i went ahead and bought every single can every single kit they had so i have 10 kits and it says a kit will do about 10 to 15 square foot so a little overkill for the jeep but i figure if this works on the jeep there's other stuff that i can waterproof so that's what we're going to do today in this video i have my buddy scotty he's coming over here in a little bit uh we're gonna put this stuff on now beforehand i actually prepped the jeep so to prep the Jeep, all I did was took a little Dawn dish soap and some uh, Scotch-Brite pads, just scrubbed the Jeep down really good. Even my boys helped out. So we just scrubbed it down, gave the uh, paint or whatever this is, something to actually adhere to, to give it a fighting chance because really what I want to happen is I want to go through a mud puddle and come out clean on the other side. That would be awesome if, if that was the case. But uh, I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to see what it does. I'm going to kind of do a little test uh, run now and see kind of a before and after. So let's go see uh, what it looks like when I drop some water on it now. I just have a little bit of water in this cup here and we're just going to dribble it on the hood. See what happens. All right, so it just rolls off. All right, so just as suspected, I didn't really uh, think it would do much. It just kind of dribbles down. So kind of a before we'll see what happens after we apply this stuff all right so let's see what actually comes in the box instructions who needs instructions i'm just lying i need instructions better get those so it looks like it's two a two-part system so i got it ready i just have to shake it vigorously so we can do a vigorous shake for one minute after mixing ball so a vigorous shaking step one coat and a step two coat pretty simple so let the vigorous shaking begin I think Mako would be proud of our beautiful tape job. You just that's the important parts. And then we just kind of got lazy at the end and whatever. Alright, we're gonna have a race. I think Scotty's cheating behind me, but I gotta go get my stuff and go. Ah! So I'm going from this half back. All right, light coat or whatever. Just put whatever you want to put on there. I don't care. I already ran it. <laughs> I already run it. The Dolphin Marathon. <laughs> this paint's running like a marathon.
can hardly tell that we sprayed anything at all. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it, it <laughs> might work, but it's hideous looking. It's like got a let me see if you guys could tell which side Scotty did and which side I did. One's better. <laughs> they don't look much different, but Listen, we don't paint, so this this is as good as it gets. But there she is, all coated up. It's just a two-step deal. We painted the window, and then it turned this hazy, nasty color. So then we decided, well, Scott Scotty scraping. So I made Scotty scrape it. Actually, he offered, bro. But. I don't know. I got my water. It says give it a half hour. We're going to scrape the windows off and clean them up and then do the water test, see what happens. All right, you got you got to see this. This is awesome. Just do a little bit at first, just to show. Just to show them. <laughs> it doesn't stick at all. Look at, look at, even where it's like at, it's not actually sticking. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> anyway, it's not even just like a flat surface. Dude, it's like, it just doesn't stick at all. This is so cool. <laughs> Dude, I hope the camera's picking up how cool that is. <laughs> That's awesome. It just turns into like a little ball. That is so cool. Oh, Scotty's getting more water. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the hose sprays it on, it turns into like little bubbles. <laughs> it's blown right off. That's Dude, that's so on. cool. Look, it sticks to the window. And then as soon as it gets to the wipers, I think we even have it on the wipers. Yeah. So. Yeah. Roll it down from the hood or the roof out of the it doesn't even stick <laughs> or do you have some in your cup dump it on the hood and let it run down yeah. <laughs> it's like little not water as, coated as it could be what's that it's not as coated as it could be in there I'll have to coat it more but <laughs> that's so cool so this is just one step yeah, that's just step it's one. Just step one. It so it wet. sticks to that, yeah. But then but this, this here's step two. It like doesn't stick to it at all. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cool. Can't wait. I hope we can wash it off. Uh probably. Mm. Might be able to. We'll see. Go wheeling tomorrow and see. Look, it's like just sticking there. <laughs> See, that's so cool. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, as you can see, it's getting laid out. That stuff was awesome. I cannot wait to go four wheeling tomorrow and hit the first mud puddle and see what happens. I don't know. What are your predictions, Scotty? The cleanest Jeep when we leave. Uh, I hope it's going to look just as hazy as when we pull in there. Yeah. If not, it says we can reapply the second coat and, and it will it will work. But like, check this out here. The water is literally not clinging to the surface of the Jeep. Just rolling off. <laughs> it literally rolls off the Jeep and then onto the windshield and gets stuck. That is so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know guys, we're gonna take this thing four wheel on tomorrow, but that's gonna do it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here. <laughs>